Okay guys, here it is, our final video on our small block Ford combinations, and this time we're taking a look at a thousand horsepower. Let's check it out. In this video, just like our previous ones, we're gonna take a look at five different combinations, all that exceed a thousand horsepower. Now I know we've skipped over the 800 and the 900 horsepower levels, but the reality is at that power level, we're basically looking at power adders, and I know everyone's gonna say, yeah, but my small block 302 makes 800 horsepower, 900 or whatever, and all that's great. But the reality is most of us are gonna be building this power level with some kind of power adder, and all the stuff that I did basically was all turbo combinations. So if we made 800, we just did it at a lower boost level. If we made 900, we did it at a lower boost level. If we made 1,000, we just turned the boost up. And I've got examples where we made 800 and 900, and then 1,000 horsepower, so Check them out. To get things started, this is probably one of the funnest and also looking back, one of the most frustrating thousand horsepower combinations I put together. This was the Big Bang 351 Windsor. And you can check out all of the tales of woe about what I should have done with this. This, this video is up, so check it out. It's right here. But we're just gonna cover the power output that we made uh, going from the NA combination up to the thousand horsepower level. This combination was a Junkyard 351 Windsor that I got from the Wrecking Yard. We brought it back uh, and I took it apart, put ring gap in it. We also honed it. Um, it had the stock crank block rods pistons, put extra ring gap in it. We installed a set of Airflow Research 220 or 205 heads and then a crane cam 552, 563, 228, 232, and a 114. We had a TFS upper and lower intake manifold, the TFS R and a 75 millimeter throttle body. And we ran this thing NA with a seven inch and three quarter headers. This thing made 409 horsepower. So it was a little disappointing given, given the combination. Uh, it didn't make the power output, the NA power output that we thought, but we continued on with our twin turbo setup. We ran two 76 millimeter turbos from CX Racing, like we had done in the Big Bang stuff for the uh, LS combination. Here's what happened when we installed our two turbos. And we also had, an intercooler on this thing, an air to water, our air to water, our dual in uh, single out. We had two turbo smart wastegates on it. This thing made 810 horsepower at 14.8 pounds. And then we turned things up to 21 pounds where this thing made over a thousand horsepower. It was a thousand twenty-three and torque checked in at 997 foot pounds of torque. So we made more power than this, but uh, you can check out the, that video and it'll tell you everything <laughs> that happened. I really need to revisit this. Let's get to our next combination. Thousand horsepower combination number two was a 363 inch Dart uh, SHP stroker short block. And I have to say, I, I definitely recommend these Dart SHP short blocks. They're obviously not a sponsor or anything, so you guys don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but every one of these that we've run have worked out really well. We've run a 347, this 363. West Tech has a 372 inch, you know, the big bore standard stroke. Uh, small block Chevy and they've got hundreds and hundreds of runs on that and just like with this one We've run everything on nitrous blowers turbos And and endless runs the NA we ran a bunch of cellar head tests and all kinds of stuff and these things are really impressive They work very well. This combination was the dart SHP short block with a set of airflow research 225 heads on it We had a cam research core um, Did a custom cam for it it was a solid roller. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here, but it was healthy. It was over 700 lift. And we also ran, I configured this one with fuel injection. We'd run this combination before with a funnel web intake and a single carburetor, and it did very well. But we configured this thing with a TFS Box R intake and a 90 millimeter throttle body. Equipped with that and run NA, this combination produced 519 horsepower and 469 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what happened after we installed a single turbo. And we just thought we'd show you some lower boost levels. This one was, uh, the peak boost was at 17 and a half where we made a thousand horsepower, and that's this run here.
this run was at 15.8 and with a little more tuning you can see um it was a little richer here and we did a little bit more tuning here in the um in the area around 5500 rpm but this thing at 17 pounds made a little over a thousand horsepower and it was down in the 900s uh, at this lower boost level but again this is a good combination it was a single turbo we were getting up kind of near the limit of this was uh, an 80 millimeter from comp turbo yeah it's a comp tour 80 millimeter q trim we had 22 degrees of timing in it for you timing guys that want to know what we're running <laughs> also on the big bang motor on the 351 windsor we had about 20 degrees of timing in that thing uh with the higher boost level okay 363 good power let's get to our next combination number three for the thousand horsepower level was actually a board and stroke 351 windsor it was an aftermarket block this one came from the guys over at speedmaster and it was a pretty good size displacement it was 434 inches or thereabouts it was a 4125 bore and a 4.1 inch stroke again not not ideal i don't think with the 4.1 inch stroke but I'd, I'd rather have the four inch stroke but this was an aftermarket block i did not measure the sleeve length on that on that speedmaster block to find out if it was different than a factory one but I would recommend the 4-inch stroke, as I've said before. This one also had a set of ported um, Pro Comp or Speedmaster heads. They were done up by the guy at uh, over at Dr. J's when they were open. Also had a ported Super Victor intake manifold on it. Had a healthy comp cam. This one came from the guys over at Cam Research. It was 724 lift, 254, 260 at 50. You know, good camshaft. And this thing produced with uh, inch and three-quarter long tube headers, and a 950 holly on it it produced 578 horsepower and 548 foot pounds here's what happened after we added our single turbo to it it easily made over a thousand horsepower 1037 and that was at 12.7 pounds and for you timing guys we ran 24 degrees on this with the intercooler at only 12 at only 12.7 pounds the nice thing is that you can easily make uh, reach the thousand horsepower level or whatever level you're looking for if you have a real healthy na combination the more power you make na the more power that you can make under boost at any given boost level so this is a perfect example of that it's a big motor it made lots of power. It made, you know, a little under 600 horsepower. So we can easily exceed 1,000 horsepower with very little boost. And again, this the, this was uh, with a single... This was with a single comp turbo, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was the comp turbo. And again, this 1,000 horsepower level is kind of getting up near the limit of that turbo. So this this combination this 434 inch motor had a lot more potential if we had more turbo and we weren't looking to turn it up all we wanted to do is reach the thousand horsepower level of this and we easily did that with that single turbo let's get to our next combo combination number four was actually a 427 inch stroker and like the third one this was also the pro comp speedmaster block but we used a four inch stroke and a 4125 bore it had all forged internals in it this one had a slightly smaller camshaft. It was the XFI, the 236X XFI cam from Comp Cams. It was a 579 lift, 236, 248 degree duration, and 114 degree lobe separation angle. It had Airflow Research 205 heads on it, full CNC ported, an Edelbrock Rock Super Victor, and a 950 carburetor. We ran it with uh, 16 rockers and an inch and three quarter, uh, our long tube headers, the hooker stuff. Had a Mylodon pan with a kick out, so it was a good pan, um, and that's important on a stroker motor with a winded stray and stuff. Equipped in this manner, our combination produced 582 horsepower, so it was a good 427, and 536 foot pounds of torque. Here's what happened after we installed our twin turbo setup, and this was two uh, CX Racing 76 millimeter turbos. We had an air to air intercooler. And also, we were blowing through the CSU 850 blow-through carburetor. So it was intercooled, and it was charge-cooled with the carburetor, obviously. This thing was uh, made over 1,000 horsepower at just over 10 pounds, 10.3 pounds. And we had 1,004, 1,005 horsepower. Uh, one thing I'm sure everyone's going to notice is this dip in the torque curve here <laughs> between 5,000 and 5,500. That's where the motor is. Um, the combination went rich there. It was down at a... Uh, 10.9 to 1 
and we could have probably tuned that out in the in the rest of the area the it was in the mid 11s which is kind of where we like it but we would have had to work on the tune a lot to get that dip out but we certainly could that's just a an, an air fuel thing um, this combination had 20 degrees of total timing good combination you know easy to make power only 10 pounds of boost um this would be a this would be a good street motor because probably on 10 pounds I want to recommend that you could run <laughs> pump gas, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think you could run a thousand horsepower um, at 10 pounds on pump gas? This thing was about 10 to 1 compression also. So let me know what you guys think. Let's get to our next comment. Okay, guys, there it is, our final video on all the small block Ford combinations. And yes, there are other ways to do it, and I hope that you see that. These aren't the only ways to make this kind of power read between the lines and figure out hey if i use this cylinder head it will still work if i use this camshaft it'll still work and if i add a blower to this combination that will also work i'm richard holder guys make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell more and more testing coming up